Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Enjoy your reading. So this is a quick recap from the last chapter. Winston is actually thinking about using food to lure scorpions into the trap. We have city walls, but there won't be a wall to hold up against so many scorpions. They're really preparing a wall. We can construct a waterway outside the wall to prevent small scorpions from attacking. But it's genius. So now you understand what she's saying. You are a genius. No, <laughs> I'm not. She's trying to act humble. And then all of a sudden, we transform into... He did not transform, actually. But he's trying maybe to call people. His tribe members, everyone listened, and then they stopped what they are doing. Wonderful, as expected of the king. So guys, this is now the beginning of our new chapter. By Ting Ting's plan is ingenious. After the battle is over, the water can be rewooted into the village. It will be so much easier to get to drinking water. So he is looking at down from the top. Here and Winston, they have the same skirt. But that alone isn't enough. By Ting Ting, you still need a stronger fighting force in order to win against that old scorpion. Maybe. He was really trying to see if he can fly, but we can see the pain drawn on his face. Like it hurt a lot. Boy, how can a flying beast call himself a flying beast if he cannot fly? So that is the, the thing now. So he has to do his best to try to fly at least. Harry, those who aren't working on crafting armor should go help the king. So people, they got their alert. So now they are running to the squad where the king is. Just the thought of facing the scorpion's head on excites me. <laughs> of course it does. I now have the chance to become a two-striped beast. Because the more they fight, the more they get stronger. Hurry up everyone, the king has summoned us. So this is now the village chief. Your village show loves, loves fighting. Of course, one day we will be even better than the city of the beast. So that other city that got shattered with the earthquake. We don't have much time. Everyone split yourselves into 10 groups. So they got there. Now Winston is directing them. There will be four people in every group. Every group will be responsible for digging out part of the waterway. So the chief is now concerned. King, 
The scorpions are talented at digging in the ground. The waterway perhaps isn't enough. We don't really have time, enough time to create a waterway that we surround the entire village. That is now by Ting Ting. Each group should get to work on the part of the waterway. I will think of a solution to everything else. So he's trying to reassure them that by then he will think of what to do. So now they are all busy digging. I have an idea. Look at this is the herbalist of the tribe. Really? What is that idea? He was running. He's really tired. Ah, uh, yes. Use this. It will take care of any scorpion that get past the waterway. <laughs> it's smelly. <laughs> what is that smell? It's disgusting. Ah, I want to puke. Is that a biological weapon? That smells, that smell is horrifying. That thing is called a deaf blight. It can grow to the size of one's palm and the leaf smells like dead bugs. If you plant them in the ground, they will get rid of the snake's worms living there. More? So you can see, isn't... Looks like it's pretty dangerous, so she's thinking of... Curtis. <laughs> I bet Curtis hates it. It already smells bad. Its root completely take over the soil and it become it becomes the king of the place. It like the poisonous grass, the mammon plant in the water. Curtis destroyed the mermaid tribe because of that poisonous grass. However, this plant needs to be watered with blood in order for it to quickly take root. That a weird plant? It looks like a man eating plant. Use my blout. I'm so old that only my blout can be of any use. So people were challenged. Can it only grow when watered with blood from a woman? So apparently that plant can only grow when they use a woman blout. Death blight requires blood from someone with at least four streaks in order to grow at maximum speed. The poison will also be stronger and it will grow even deeper than usual. So Mo is just like, oh, I will do it. So he took the flower and gave it his blood. Mua! Uh, you'll be 
there's no time to waste. By Ting Ting, get people to plant it under your city walls. To protect your tribe, it's only little blood. No. But this thing is poisonous. That's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Bye!